Hello. As you can tell, I have the toilet floor background behind me, which means I'm in West Wales. And the weather is grey. You should have seen the dawn this morning. It was spectacular. And if, if the day starts that well, how can it go wrong? How can it go wrong? What have we been up to? I've been not working. Well, that's not true. I've limited it to no more than four hours a day. And I think that's enough, don't you? Especially when you're on holiday. And um, the family complain otherwise. I've been knitting. Have a look at this. Um, I'm knitting. It's going to be a sleeveless pullover for bead. Because um, his bedroom's freezing. And he's got, now that he's doing A-level, he's going to be spending a lot of time studying there. So we need to wrap him up in every which way we can. Um, we've seen a seal. That was fun. We weren't expecting it to. We went to Larne, where Dylan Thomas was. Um, and I've always adored his poetry and adored Under Milkwood. Um, I would say the creative spark has gone from there, but it's the most charming village you will ever come across. Go, you must go. Um, and there was a seal happily bobbing along in the estuary, so that, that was lovely. And then when we got home, there was a hedgehog, a little hedgehog. So we fed it some meat scraps and things, and it's I love their little noses. Um, and we also went to the Welsh Woolen um, Museum. Definitely go. It's not a, a museum made of wool, even though that's what it sounds like. Um, and they, it's part of the Woolen Week, apparently. Wool Week. National Wool Week, which nobody's heard of. Um, they had a talk from the Wool Marketing Board, is that what they're called? Uh, it was interesting. The British wool accounts for 2% of the global wool product per year. Australia's the biggest at 22%. China's at 20 They're getting bigger. Um, I think New Zealand was 8%. The, we have 60 varieties of sheep. In wool, sorry, in Australia, apparently they just have one, the merino. But we all know merino wool's better. Don't tell anybody that. Um, so if you've got something good, stick with it, I think. But it's nice to think that we're the repository of this sort of gene pool of albeit rubbish sheep. Um, so that, that that was interesting. It was genuinely interesting. I love woolly things, you know, and it's um, it, it was good to hear, hear this, their stuff and lots of people spinning. And um, I need to get my old spinning wheel fixed. My new one's still going strong, but there's a rather pleasure in using the old one. Um, right, we're preparing for results. The girls' school, they're being sent out on Monday, so you should be receiving them Tuesday. Apparently some people you can do it by email, which seems a little bit, need a bit more gravitas than that. Parents open it first. Okay, that's the most important thing. You open it, you read it, and if you've got the chance to do that in the day, do. Get your head around it. None of this, oh, we'll let them open it themselves. Rubbish. You're there to look after the children. Look after the children. So deal with your own emotional stuff. I don't want any elation because that the children then understand that you would have been devastated had they not got through. Um, from the parents' point of view, it's your job to support them. No more, no less. Indulge your own rela um, emotions on your own in private, good or bad, and it'll be a bit of both. Um, so parents open it, get their heads around it, give the results to the children. Um, now I want dignity and victory um, and a sort of magnanimity in, in failure. Um, just sort of be okay with it. In a week's time, you'll be all right. Now there's, there are bad things in the world. Failing the 11 plus is not one of them. Okay, let's make that clear. It's not one of them. Uh, there's the issue of telling other people. It can be a bit, it will be okay. You'll dread it far more than the actual thing. Um, let's face it, if they think worse of you for failing the 11 plus, they weren't going to have thought better for you for passing. Let's get that. Your enemies will still be your enemies. Your friends will still be your friends. It changes nothing. Um, and also, if you're feeling like you might be heading into a row because somebody just wants a row, walk away. They're not looking for a row. You are. I am. So don't do it. Um, just keep a distance um, and be nice. It, it, it will be okay. In all manner of ways, it will be okay. That's about it, really. And take up knitting. Keep you busy for a while. And have a lovely, lovely week. Bye-bye.